So I might have made a mistake in my last video taking a look at Hispano's new Windrow Baylors. Now, it's highly possible, but let's go ahead and jump in here and see if I did. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and I might have to admit that I made a mistake. Now, I don't know yet if I did or not, but I may have made a mistake in the tractor selection whenever I was testing out this brand new Windrow Baylor. Now, this case Magnum does have 450 horsepower, and the Baylor only says that it needs 270. So people in the comments were saying that whenever you start increasing the width, you really need to start upping the horsepower on the tractor. So I figured why not go ahead and run this test again with a tractor that has 5,000 horsepower and a top speed of 200 miles an hour. And I'm not so much worried about the time on this one. I'm just worried about the top speed. So I've got everything turned on and lowered down. Let's go ahead and just hit our cruise right now. You can see down there on the bottom, it says 200 miles an hour. And here we go. What are we going to get to? Well, it looks like it started out at 12 and now it's still only going two miles an hour. So I don't necessarily think that it's a horsepower limitation. All right. And just to be sure, I went ahead and grabbed the smaller version here as well. The other one is the 20 meter. This one is only a 10 meter. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Turn on the cruise and here we go. So it starts off getting up to 12 miles an hour. And then once again, it's going to just slow down two, three miles an hour, maybe. I really feel like it is something that has to do with the amount of material that is getting pulled into the baler. So it's a restriction on the baler itself. And to test that theory out, I went ahead and grabbed the bigger one again, but this time we're only going to put half the amount of material into it. Let's go ahead and hit the cruise here. Once again, we can see that it goes up to 12, then it's going to slow down. It's going two miles an hour right now, but it's starting to pick back up. It's going three now. All right, so we are getting just a little bit faster, four miles an hour. All right, down to three. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and kind of creep my way over here and see if we can't start picking up just a little bit of speed. So if I start getting over to like a quarter of a width, I mean, is, is this going to increase the speed at all? Uh, four now. All right, back down to three, four. I mean, it's, it's kind of doing a thing i mean it's going faster five six all right we're we're getting somewhere but it's there's no material going in here at all now another thing that was mentioned in the comments of the last video was the draw bar now this one is by anton atl it's my absolute favorite draw bar right here and this should help us be able to get a little bit more speed out of our baler All right, so as you can see, I've got the draw bar hooked up right here. The PTO is just doing its thing, but it's it's still going to work. Let's go ahead and hop here in the tractor and go ahead and hit the cruise. And you can see that we are going at 12. Then as soon as we get right there, it's instantly slowing back down. So yeah, two miles an hour. That is going to be it on these if you are doing a big, big swath. So guys, I really don't know what we got to do to be able to get this baler to work. I was really hoping that it would because this is a fantastic mod. It's just, it's not fast. It's not fast at all. I wish Hispano would put a little bit of an unrealistic speed or increase the uh, fill rate. Anything like that would greatly help this out. Maybe make different size bales at the same time. So I guess it is true. The fastest baler for all platforms is going to be Mark Thor's quick bale. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.